it's now it's now like um, 7 p.m. I've just gotten on the boat to cross over from um, Lake Baikal port to Lesbian. Just walking to this just walking to the station this morning not a lot of people that there's actually a train station from uh, Kultuk to Litz 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 Vianka I might not be pronouncing it correctly but I will write the names down anyway so it's not too bad it's bad that I'm not I'm not doing it it just is by pronouncing things so bad there's the station down there where I'm walking towards the thing with this train it comes every after two days I arrived here yesterday I am so lucky I really feel blessed I mean I arrived here yesterday and guess what the, the following day it was the day for the train otherwise I would have had to wait two days I didn't have to wait at all it's amazing it's great that I feel so blessed I feel so privileged and I feel so lucky with so many things that I try to do or put my hands on the train station is gonna be I think it's that building because if we look round a lot more other buildings here oh, the village you know th that's Lake Baikal right there Lake Baikal there mountains there hills villages and villages there's more and more villages look at the train up on the hill there that mountain is snaking through it is the goods train oh and there's another one coming behind it over there oh no it's the same thing i think yeah it's, it's a goods train there he goes there so let's go into this station and have a look that's our train station right there this is the village I'm going to ask the name of this village properly so that the locals can pronounce it properly for me that's the hill where the train was snaking from walking to our train station now And that's our train station name right there. And the building. Lake Baikal. Hills, village, mountains, everything. And I'm right here with you. In um, Irkutsk, no, there's no train to, to Lisbianka. There's no train. I said, yes, there is. He said, no, 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 we, we are Russian, we know. Mm -hmm. And there is, it starts from... S S Slidia, eh? What do you say, call that one? Sludyanka. Oh, Sludyanka. Then it's Sludyanka. Atam Listyanka. Okay, all right. Sludyanka, Kultuk, yeah. and then? Baikal. Uh, oh, Baikal. Listyanka будет uh, Baikal mm -hmm. и река как по-английски. Uh, Через Rio, реку будет Rio, Listyanka. Rio, okay. Через Ангару. Uh -huh. All right, wow. Wow, that's so good to know that. That is that from Sludyanka. And kilometer Pishkom Sludyanka? Daliko. Oh, it's far. Naverna. Shas ya. Kilometer of 10, naverna. Kik 10. Bolsh? Bolsh. No, do. 20. Shas kon kak pangliski 20. One, two, twelve. Twelve, twelve kilometers from Sludyanka. Okay. At what time does it start from Sludyanka? Time, boys. I live Sludyanka. Сюда будет через one hour. Yeah. Oh, oh, from Sludyanka to one hour. Он уже здесь будет. All right, takes one hour. Wow, so Sludyanka is far. Sludyanka полчаса. All right. Aha. Well, I will see like back up from the train. This is super. I'm very excited. Thank you. Zevut? Edward. Oh, Edward. Edward. Yes. Alexey. Ah, Alexey. Ed. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna wait for this train. Wow. Ah. 
our train is coming with a single car. Привет. Привет. For Baikal. Yes, Baikal. Uh -huh. I enjoy this train. It, this will be Hiroshi. Hiroshi or Hiroshi. What's our train then? Single car. I say put on them brakes on, put on them brakes. There we go. Ah. Let's wait for the lady. Alright. Oh. After you. Oh, uh, uh. Oops. Aha, interesting. Let me see. Let me put my bag. Adin minute. Aha. Thank you. Spasibo. Cheers. Ah, brilliant. From the coldest place on earth to the deepest lake in the world, and that is Lake Baikal. 38 tunnels and built or constructed in 1899 and was in use in 1905, and that's the second Baikal Railway, which is also known as the Golden Buckle on the steel belt of Russia and runs parallel to Lake Baikal. The work on this railway line continued until or around World War II. Exploring Lake Baikal was an amazing achievement. The railway line runs from the little town of Snidvyanka to Baikal station, some 160 kilometers and a journey of 4 hours and 30 minutes or more. A boat or ferry is required to cross from Lake Baikal port to the station of Listvyanka, which then leads it to mainland Irkutsk Oblast. The screen is not as clean as I would have loved, but it's okay. It's a little bit dark and not very clean. But what can you do? As long as you can see where you're going. Yeah, let's see Baikal. It would have been nicer if you could open the window and take this video beautifully, but I'm afraid you can't. Let me try it this way. Even when you look down there, there's nowhere to walk on Baikal. You look down there, I can't walk anywhere. The deepest lake in the world. Passing it, I'm leaving it behind and I'm enjoying having a good look at it. So many villages around here. You got villages more especially on the other side. I will move to that side in a bit and have a look. It's amazing with these villages, there are dogs everywhere. And these dogs are really know what they're doing because when they hear a plastic bug, they start moving, coming to where the plastic bug sound is coming from. I guess they got used to foraging for food that way. One, five, four kilometers. Um, this is a third village from where the train started. The first village was Sledanka. I didn't catch it from there. I caught it from Kultuk, which was the second train station. And this is inside the train. Only one car, only one car, not, not many. 
let me go back to my side again and see if I can see more it's just the lake my friend it's just the lake it's vast it's vast it's like a sea it's a sea by itself that was the deepest lake in the world massive as they will say in Russian monoga which means it's huge big it's really a pity that it can open the window it's a pity There's no way to walk here, man. But the water is so clear, even when you are in the tray, you can see the stones in the water. It's very clear. A very beautiful village, seriously. Imagine if you could open the window and take photos. What is the name of this village? Wow. This is a camp for alpinists. Yeah. Oh, that's Nemia. Yes, old village. Wow, that is super nice. Let's go and show you. Hiroshi. This is Hiroshi. Very nice. in the woods. On the train the snakes around Lake Baikal, the view is amazing but it's a pity that you cannot open the windows but the um, lady who's in charge she decided to let me into this little compartment so that I can see more. This is what the compartment looks like. It's pretty small but at least I can see more here you just look it's just wonderful view beautiful I think this is the best view from the train you can't view it any other way any other way just doesn't work This is working beautifully here. I think I'm gonna do this whole 70 kilometers from here because it's just so beautiful. Really, really beautiful. It was a bit of a struggle on the other side, this is. And for this train journey, it's like 130 ruble for 70 kilometers. And you see more, look at the little bridge. The bridge has been running for years. So little. We are so close to, to Lake Bakal on the other side. Ah, now we are in the tunnel, 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 tunnel. What could be nice here is to walk on this rail track. 70 kilometers this train covers. So if you could walk even 20 kilometers of that, I think it would be interesting. It could be a very nice thing to do. So from Kultuk to uh, the last stop, which is Baikal, and then you have to get on the ferry because you cannot cross. They say that's 70 kilometers so i think from where the, this train starts then it must be at least 80 or 85 kilometers <laughs> this will be a hell of a walk seriously if this train had somewhere on the outside where you can just stand and have a look it will be amazing and from that tunnel to another and we are out again another how many tunnels? How many tunnels? Yeah, that's my reflection because I'm doing this through the window. There's so many tunnels. There's just so many tunnels, guys. You can't believe this. 
Welcome to Lake Baikal by train. Ah, another station. What is the name of this one? Oh, this looks like a sort of a holiday resort or something. What a view. They even have horses, this guy. Oh, Siberian kind of horses. I like that black one. This is a beautiful village. Resort, but it's not, it's another village. Very beautiful. If I had to make a movie, I'll make it here in this village. It's now like um, 7 p.m. I've just gotten on the boat to cross over from um, Lake Baikal port to Lesbianka right over there. We're going over there. He's the one driving the boat. We don't know how much it's gonna be yet. I'm trying to hitch a ride but no he wants um, he wants to get paid. There are a few people here. There's me and this uh, poor old lady behind me and the gentleman back there as well there we go it never stops it never stops i can't believe i'm i'm on a little they call it latka Lat, latka i think so um this little fishing boat hold on a sec guys hold on a sec you can't see anything it's just the it's just the river but we're going with where you see those lights, that, that's where I'm going. Uh, he's standing up now, this guy, he's standing up. So I can see where he's going. Because the main ferry has left. Oh, I think that's a big ferry over there. No, it's not. So it's not very far to cross. If you could swim, you could do it. But you'll be pretty tired. Unless if your name is Michael Phelps. It must be like um, 
500 meters from there I will check it properly in the morning because now it's a bit dark so I really can't see much I'm trying to see back there but I really can't see anything apart from the engine which is back there and if you guys can see it look at the water oh it's so high oh my god wow one mistake I don't know if you guys can see that that's where we're getting that's where we're going so, this Billy will be let me start putting my backpack before this thing falls oops 